Hey guys, Alex from Seventh Hour Films, back again with House of the Dragon. It's been a while. Been a, what was it two years since House of the Dragon aired? Last time on House of the Dragon, we had the Black Queen. I'm gonna try to remember this. I, I kid you not. I had to look up the main character's name. I'm sorry, um, but I had to look up. I kept thinking Rhaenerys, which I think is her cousin's name, or whatever. But, no, it's Rhaenyra. Um, but yeah, we had Rhaenyra. Uh, the big takeaway that I remember is... Uh, I want to say her son... was it, was she, He sent to, like, Storm's End, I think, to the Baratheon. I think? I can't remember. But uh, then... Uh, Alicent's second son with the eye patch, whatever his name was, he went there too with his big, big dragon, and then he lost control of big, big dragon, and he ended up eating Rhaenyra's son, and that has basically given is like, ah, now, war, no more, no more pussyfooting around, we're, we're gonna, we're going to war with, uh, with the, uh, the high towers, auto, high tower, Alicent Hightower, and the current king, Aegon Targaryen, who is only king because Alicent heard dying Viserys talking about Aegon, not realizing he meant Aegon the Conqueror, not, or a, a version of Aegon, I think, I guess it was Aegon the Conqueror, and not their, their dumb son, Aegon, yeah. Um... Genuine question, and it's going to be answered in this. What was Matt Smith's name? <laughs> like, just before I came in here to record this, I was like, yeah, she, she married her uncle, which was, and I was like, what was his name? All I remember is Matt Smith. I remembered Viserys. I remembered Viserys, but I was like, what was his name? What was Matt Smith's name? Uh, so we'll, we'll figure it out. We'll, we'll remember everything once we get into the episode, but if I'm a little scatterbrained... It's been two years. I did not rewatch my last reaction to it. Um, I looked at a little bit of a recap from back in the day, but yeah, it's, it's 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 not fresh in my memory, is what I'm saying. But yeah, uh, but we're here. We're mostly ready. I got my old Game of Thrones shirt on, which is nice. It's nice to be back uh, in this. I wish this had waited two weeks for Doctor Who to finish, but that's okay. We'll power through it. Uh, we'll power through both of these in the same two weeks, but that's okay. Um, yeah, it is the first episode of the season, so if you want to watch my full unedited reaction to this episode of House of the Dragon, you can head down over uh, to the description or into the pinned comment. There will be a link there, and that will take you over to the full length, uh, which is free for everyone uh, on this first episode. And then uh, you can sync it up just... Hit play on the video. There'll be a three, two, one. That's when you hit play. I'm watching this on Max. I assume everyone's watching this on Max. It. I'm sure you can find it elsewhere, but I don't know these things. But. But yeah, and then when you're done with that, I do encourage you to come back here to the YouTube video. We'll have a discussion about the episode, and yeah, that'll pretty much be that. Um, or you can just stay here on the YouTube video and watch the edited reaction anyway. So. Why don't we just go ahead and jump right into Season 2, Episode 1 of House of the Dragon. Here we go. Ah. Oh. Ooh, this is a completely different intro. I mean, the song's the same, obviously, but they changed everything. That's cool. <laughs> Every time I start The Sopranos, by the way, and they show the HBO logo, I keep expecting this song to start, and it doesn't, so... All men of honor must is, pay its price. Is this Winterfell? Oh, this is the Stark theme, isn't it? It's been so long. My ancestor, Torrin Stark, began a tradition by making an offering at the onset of winter. Oh, One no. in ten men from our household was to be chosen to fortify the watch. Ah, oh, poor guy. This is not a sentence, but an honor. 
a duty embraced yeah, by Yeah, you can say that because... North, even by mine own kin. Oh, I guess he's the one talking, but... I love that this is, like, almost no better than what we see the wall in Surely the Game great of Thrones. Torrin Stark would have sooner died than bent the knee. Unless he believed the Conqueror could bring unity to the Seven Kingdoms. You are right in that. Oh, and that's... That unity is now Ned Stark's big-ass sword, the whatever it was called. Apart. The High Tower's plan to usurp the throne. So which son is this? My mother is to defend her claim to hold the realm united. She needs an army. War is coming to the whole of the realm, my lord. We cannot wage it without the support of the north. Meh. Your war means nothing to the wall. My father brought King Jaehaerys and Queen Alessand to see the wall. His grace stood at this very outlook and watched as their dragons, the greatest power in the world, refused to cross it. Meh. I have thousands of grey beards who have already seen too many winters. They are well honed. So they're old. I can ready them to march at once. If your grey beards can fight, the Queen will have them. Well, that's good. They will fight hard. Hey, man. Like northerners. Grey beards, they're still alive? That's, that's really good. Going to King's Landing. To what end? Killing Vega. I cannot face that hoary old bitch alone. Meh. She needs to know it, Blizzard. She was a fool to go alone. What if Eamon were to happen upon her? Then I would pity Eamon. Meh. Yeah. Copian ready! Hold! Stand out, it's Vega! Stand out! They just don't know what dragon it is. Not the dragons. The rats. The queen is an enduring mystery. Yeah. Is she not? Eehoo. I'll go ahead and write down rats, though. I'm sure she's onto something. Well, I mean, good for you. You know, with your with your husband dead and everything. Oh, that's right. Chin in the air. I forgot about that guy. Fucking Lancelot over here. We cannot. Again. So that's the last twenty times. Fucking Lancelot, I forgot about him. I don't fully remember everything, but I forgot about him. <laughs> Is the heir to the throne bothering you, Thailand? No. No, no not, not in the least, Your Grace. Because I think he wants a ride. Your Grace. A, a ride? A pony ride. Wouldn't that be fun, Jaehaerys? Should the Master of Coin be your royal steed? <laughs> <laughs> so do it. No time for amusements, Thailand. Your Grace. At least he likes his kid. Good boy. You could offer the title to the young Lord Dalton Grage. Eamon. Ah, oh, there's shit. What is your business here? I come earlier to have a word before the small council convened, but your handmaiden said that you were uh, indisposed. Yes. Nasty shits. Terrible. You were? <laughs> Alright. Stay. Don't eat people. Or do. Maybe we don't care. <sighs> Tis my flock. A, a, a tenth of them taken by... Dragons. The crown. On, or the crown. On the cusp of winter. 
grasp. If I'd had the time to plan, We should perhaps. return them. Your Grace? You need your goats for the winter, don't you? Sheep, your, your Grace. Sheep, <laughs> even better. I shall make your flock of sheep whole. <laughs> How magnanimous. We already Perhaps we could just return his sheep. He came all this way. If you return one herd of sheep, your Grace, you'll soon find them all at the foot of your throne expecting the same. They won't know. <laughs> when the king speaks, your grace, all hear it. Man, you try to be nice one time. If we could but have the crown's coin before we started work, it would bring great relief. Not just to me, but to all the smiths serving your cause. An advance. You shall be paid, and paid well. My army cannot win a war without your weapons. You should continue their making. Our victory depends on the efforts of the small folk. You have my most sincere gratitude, your grace. <laughs> there he goes. I would think, as we find ourselves standing within a hair's breadth of war, that you would wish to be viewed differently. How? Otto Hightower was your father's and your grace. Interesting. Now he works for Alicent, so... My sons both see you as the great example. The hand to three kings. Egon is ever eager to prove himself and Aemond... Is Aemond. We only need to mind Egon until the novelty of rule is spent. Once he tires of it, you and I can steer our cause to victory. A fine strategy, daughter. Hmm. But you must accept that the path to victory now is one of violence. I know it. But that does not mean it must be wanton. Hmm. No. Could they plan to assassinate Rhaenyra? That could be interesting. Otto Hightower was to me as I am to your noble ilk, fodder to be cast off. What else do you know of him, his plans? Little and less. I possess nothing of value to you, Damon. Damon, why couldn't I remember that? Jesus. Egon was in your grasp. You should have killed him yourself. I reckon I were names of the King's Guard are just eight and ten. And we swore the same oath to defend the whole of the royal family. So what were we to do when they turn against one another? It's interesting that's twice now that Damon has said you should have killed Aegon when you had the chance. Damon does not care about honor or battle, just results. I want Aemon Targaryen. Can Stark has promised two thousand men. Aww. Man, looks like Paul Atreides. Come on, bro. Never gone for long. I'm told you bear a mislike for the high towers. Fuck the high towers. Atta boy. You're to find and slay the Prince Aemon Targaryen. He has silver mm. hair and one eye. Should be easy enough to find. Yeah. But I understand he's quite good in a fight. You want to take caution. What if we can't find him? Um. Yeah. My brother is hostage to my grandsire and mother, and they tell him that a war of dragons can yet be avoided. It is inevitable, and they must see that. Fucking lights a lot. to upset the order of things. Dallas is simply angry. Your angry mother. She blames me for starting this war, after she plotted with my father's council to usurp his throne. 
Yeah. She has a gentle heart. And Rhaenyra is a cunning spider. Long ago, she drew Alison into her web. Intoxicated her. It is not your mother's fault. God, I almost forgot how much he fucking hates Rhaenyra. She wants love for our enemy. You and Vega are the greatest single power in the realm. No, no, no. Vagar is the, is the greatest single power. He does nothing. Why bring the dog with them? Reminds me of the dog from Pirates of the Caribbean. I don't know why. Keep your eyes down. Just walk past all the, the king and his flunkies. I got you in the castle. I thought the rest was your bed. Oh, great. What was the dog for then? I know I upstairs. I just don't know my way around. Dang it, cheese, you had a job. Show me. Fucking cheese. Aw. Poor dog. What was the point of the dog? Oh, God. Cinematography is terrifying. Who the fuck is she? <laughs> She's the queen. She is. A son for a son, he said. Yeah. But they both look the same. Which one's a boy? Might be that one. But look for a cock. Well, that's the wrong son. Did they both forget the part of eye patch? I have a necklace. It's of great value. <laughs> we'll take that too. Anywho. Thank you. Wait. It's the other one. She's not gonna give up the king's hair that easy. Yeah, but if she knows that you know, and she knows that you know. Ah, forget it. Just kill them all and it'll work. She's telling true. How do you know? None of this is what you were supposed to do. Yeah, and bone. Oh, they're gonna take the head. Here's the question is... Is this gonna come back to bite them? I feel like this is gonna come back to bite them. Uh, um, doesn't matter. They killed the boy. Okay. Ugh. Alrighty. I mean... How can this not come back to bite them, you know? Like, I can do mental gymnastics as to why this wouldn't come back to bite them, but of course it's going to come back to bite them, because otherwise, there's no point. So, when Damon says, eye patch, he's only got one eye. He didn't say eye patch, I guess. He only said that he had one eye. But did they listen? No. I miss Viserys. We all miss Viserys, but... Oh, yeah. But for a second, I just went to the Wiki... Not Wikipedia, the IMDb. And I was like... For a second, I was about to say... I was like, oh, this came out in 22, 2022. That was a year ago. And then suddenly I was like... No, wait a minute. <laughs> no, 2022 was two years ago. I just want to see, like, the names. Make sure I remember everything. Rainus. Rainus, that was it. And Kristen Cole, not Lancelot. He looks like... The reason I keep calling him Lancelot is because he looks like Lancelot from Merlin, but it's not him, so... Oh yeah, Jaceris Jace. That's the remaining son. I remember now. Okay, I remember all the names. We're good now. For some reason, I could not remember Damon to save my life. I don't know why. 
you know, probably because it doesn't follow the same like multi-syllable pattern as the rest of them, like Rhaenyra, Viserys. Oh, I guess Aegon is an outlier, but still. Uh, but even still, go and then going back to Game of Thrones, Daenerys. You know, these motherfuckers and their white hair, man. Uh, the children. Yeah, so, and it also I also had to remember. So, yeah, Renera Renera's had a lot of fucking children, man. She's had a lot of children. Renera, she had her original children that they said were the son, the 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 children of Lord Corliss's son, but they weren't. They are the bastards of Sir Kristen Cole, and then. Ah, uh, oh boy. I'm trying to adjust myself and get comfy. Uh, then she did... did or, no, 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 no. No, then she had children... She has young children by Damon. Okay, yeah. For a second, I, was, I thought she did have children by Lord Corliss's son. But no, those are Lord Corliss's children. With, a. Uh, Rainis. Oh, and that was it. That's how you pronounce it. Rainis, not Rainus. Okay. I remember everything. And Alicent had three children by Viserys. Aegon, the oldest. Then Aemond, the, the bastard. But not a bastard in, like, he's not the son of Viserys. As, I mean, a bastard as in, you know, he's a bastard. Like, you know, he, he, he's, he's a crappy person. And then uh, Helena who is married to Aegon, because that's just how the Targaryens roll, you know? That's how the... T I mean, Rhaenyra did the same thing with her uncle, Daemon, so... You know, I just realized, Rhaenyra only had one line in this entire episode. Just, I want Aemon Targaryen. That was it. Oh, boy. It's, uh... It's good to be back, I gotta say. It's good to be back. I don't know, man. It's ugh. It's just every this. You know what this show is? It's a this show has a lot of tiny moments with grand ramifications, which I guess Game of Thrones did that too. But even still, like in Game of Thrones, I guess I won't spoil. I guess I won't spoil things in case. For some reason, you're watching House of the Dragon, but you haven't seen Game of Thrones. Which is possible. It's possible. It, I think any anyone watching House of the Dragon without watching Game of Thrones probably had a tough time, but I'm going to give people credit if they have. Hell, I watched The Witcher with no context, so that was fun. But let's say when... A certain character dies. There you go. When a certain character dies in Game of Thrones, that in and of itself was a very, very big moment and had very, very huge ramifications to it, you know? Here, and I mean, I guess killing the crown prince, uh, what was his name? Was it Rhaegar? Killing the crown prince, that's pretty big. That is pretty big, you know? But even still, it's like, it's a, it's almost small. Because, you know, it's, you know, Damon sent two unsuccessful assassins, you know? And they screwed up, basically, and killed the wrong person. But this will have large, lasting ramifications, so... In a similar way to, like, you know, the scene last season... Uh, where, yeah, where, I guess it was, uh, was it Jace? Was Jace the one that did it, or was it Luke? One, I, either Jace or Luke, I can't remember which one, but the, whichever one, you know, cut, uh, Eamon's eye. Like, e e like, small moments that keep compiling, you know? Whereas you feel like in Game of Thrones they were big moments that kept compiling, and I, but I, I'm, that, and this is not a criticism. I like that. I like that it's like it's almost these small little things, these small little missteps, but they have just such grand ramifications, you know. 
I mean, even something like, you know, last season with, uh, with Amond, you know, sort of harassing and antagonizing Luke, but he never meant to kill Luke. He was just mess. He was literally just messing with him, you know, but Vagar was the one that took it the step further and then killed him, you know? Which, that's the thing, when they talk about, you know, oh, you and Vagar are the single most powerful thing in the kingdom. It's like, no, 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 no. Vagar is the most powerful thing. Aemond is the guy that Vagar vaguely likes. Very vaguely. Like, Aemond is the person that Vagar allows to ride them. You know? Like, that's the thing. It's like, don't get this twisted. Like, it... it let's put it this way. Without Amond, Vagar is still Vagar. Without Vagar, Amond is nothing. He is nothing. I mean, he's a good sword. But so is Damon. You know? And I like that Damon just immediately is like, you know... Look, you me, we have our dragons, we can go kill Vagar. Because that is the biggest problem, you know? And Aegon... Oh, fucking Aegon. Aegon is still a terrible king. He never wanted to be king. But not when they talk about not wanting to be king in Game of Thrones. Let's not go there. Let's not go to the end of Game of Thrones. But, uh, he's just... It is interesting to watch, because it's like, he's not... I like that it's like, oh, Aegon is a terrible king. I like that he's not just... Like, you could easily make him, like, a repeat of Joffrey, you know? Or, like, maybe even almost a repeat of Viserys. But I like that they don't do that, you know? I like that they don't do that. That it's like, no, he is... I mean, he is a kid, I don't know how old he is supposed to be. God, can I look that up? I don't know. Or maybe I'll just wait for, and you guys will tell me in the comments. I guess I'll try. Uh, Aegon... Uh, Aegon Targaryen II. He's 19. He's 19. Alright. Aegon is 19 years old. So, first off, Jesus, that's young. Second off, he just doesn't, I mean, he doesn't care. He will, he will do his duty, but at the same time, he doesn't want to play the game, you know? He just wants to, he just kind of wants to, you know, get things done, you know? He just wants to kind of get through his work and then, you know, sit on the Iron Throne and drink. I was waiting... It would be interesting if they have a scene where he, maybe he gets pricked by the Iron Throne, uh, like his father, but, I don't know, I was, I was kind of waiting, like, that'd be kind of interesting, you know, sh another sort of like, oh, you're not right for the Iron Throne, but they didn't end up doing that, and that's fine, you know? But that's the thing, it's like, he, you know, and it's an interesting thing, because he, he almost has this, like, almost childlike wonder to him, you know? Where he like, I mean, I, I like that moment where like yes, you know he's in the he's in the middle of an important meeting, but at the same time he he sees his son messing with Tylen, and he, he's just kind of happy. He's just kind of like yeah, good good on you, son. So what this will do to him, I don't know. That'll be interesting to see, but but yeah, it's like it, it's interesting to see that or like when he's hearing the appeals, you know. When he's hearing the appeals and the guy's like, yeah, I, we had you had to take all of our sheep, and I know why, but like we're struggling, and he's like, okay, we'll return your sheep. Like to him, it's just like you know, sure, why not? I don't see any reason, you know, that we shouldn't return your sheep. Uh, but then the whole thing of like, well, we need them because we might because we'll probably have to feed them to the dragons, and you know, if you if you give back this guy's sheep, then everyone's gonna come and and ask and stuff, and it's like. Uh, and he understands that, but it's just, I don't know, that's just an in interesting thing. It's a thing of, like, he doesn't want... It, like, it's not that he will, like, shirk his responsibilities, but he will... 
but he wants to just sort of get them out of the way, you know? So it's an interesting thing. It's an interesting thing with Aegon, you know? Whereas Aemon is more of the aggressive one, even though Aegon wants to just, you know, send his brother and Vagar to destroy Rhaenyra in her entirety. But, but still, it's like, you know... Aemond is more of the scheming, you know, aggressive one. But, I don't know, do you think... Do you think Aemond has aspirations to be king? Or is he content letting his brother remain king? I don't know. And then there's the ongoing conflict between Otto and Alicent, which is always something. It's like, oh, they're fighting for the same thing, but they are constantly undermining each other. Alicent is begging Kristen. Sure, why not? Speaking of schemers, Damon. Damon is still scheming. He tried. He's he's trying to... Hey, he was trying to fulfill Rhaenyra's wish in uh, getting rid of Aemond. And it would have worked too if it weren't for these meddling idiots and their dog. What was the dog for? Does he just have a dog? All these rats and stuff. And they, they went and they got the wrong kid. That's not the key. That's not the wrong. That's the wrong prince. You're supposed to go. He has one eye. But maybe they're thinking, well, both of them are closed, so we don't know. It's like. <sighs> but he said, he did say he he's a good fighter, so you may have some trouble. You know? Like, that's the thing they expressly ignored. You know? It's like you're not going for a kid. You're going for the the teenage prince, the brother of the king. Good friggin' grief, man. So this will go over well. I'm sure this will go over well. Um yeah, that's I guess that's pretty much that. Uh another good day in Westeros. You know what I like? Honestly, there will always be something appealing about Winterfell and the Watch. Not that you want to be a part of the Watch, but I just love... There's something appealing about the North in Westeros where it's just like... The the North is such a different place, you know? It's, it's like reverse Florida where, like, it's such an isolated part of the country, but it's on the top instead of the bottom... And it's just... But it's not, like, crazy like Florida. Like, the rest... Like, the South is still crazy. But the North is just so separated. I don't know. Would that be like Scotland? I mean, because, you know, with the shape of Westeros, it's very, you know... I, I would imagine it's very inspired by, like, the British Isles and that sort of stuff. I wonder if that's sort of supposed to be it. Like, you know, the North is almost analogous to Scotland. I don't know. You think I would have learned this in the years since I started watching Game of Thrones, which... Jeez, that was like, what, 2018 I started watching Game of Thrones? It's been a long-ass time, man. Long-ass time. Almost as long as I've been watching Doctor Who, so... I don't know. But there's always something appealing about the North. I like that. Oh, and I remember uh, the sword. The big friggin' sword that would eventually become Ned Stark's sword. It's called Ice. I remember that. Yay! I remembered Ice. I didn't remember the name Damon, though. I don't know how that happened. It just, in my head, it's just, I don't know, it's Matt Smith. I don't know. It's so, he's so good in this role, too. I mean, they're all, they're all really, really good, but it's, just, it's, it's really cool seeing Matt Smith in the show. So, anywho, where is this little blunder going to take us? I guess we'll find out next week. But that is basically it. With all of that being said, I'm Alex from 7th Hour Films, and I will see you guys next time. Take care. Alright guys, thanks for watching this video. There's a bunch of links on screen if you want to go click around any of those. There's a playlist with all of my House of the Dragons reactions, as well as another video you can go click on if you want. There's also a subscribe button and a Patreon button on screen, as well as other links in the description if you want to go check out any of those. See you guys later.